Hello Francis Allen North and welcome to Weekly Movie Review. In this segment I'll be breaking down some of my recently watched films and suggesting some good features for you guys to check out. First up on today's list we have Tropic Thunder. It's a spoof ripping on the 80s muscle movies such as Platoon, Apocalypse Now, and Rambo. However, the movie has an interesting twist on this style as the protagonists are a bunch of actors in the process of making an action war film and inadvertently get caught up in a legitimate fight for their lives against the modern day Viet Cong. The movie stars some familiar faces such as Ben Stiller from movies such as Zootopia and uh, Meet the Family, and also Robert Downey Jr. of Iron Man fame. I personally wasn't a fan of this film, but I understand the appeal, so if you're looking for some laughs, check it out. I give this film a three and a half stars. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more introspective and a bit more artsy, I present to you The Royal Ten of Bombs. It's a Wes Anderson film that follows the reconciliation of the Tenenbaum family. If you're familiar with Wes Anderson's style, then you know he can easily combine the quirky with the serious. I personally love this film, and if you want a meaningful and artistic film, I highly recommend it. Four stars from me. Last up on this list for today, we have a personal favorite of mine, Ridley Scott's Blade Runner starring Harrison Ford. This film poses itself just as another sci-fi action film, however, upon second glance, a philosophical self-reflection is revealed. This movie features some of the best set design to grace this over screen and it has one of the best moments in improv acting towards the end. It's a must watch and it's a 5 stars from me. Alright Francis Allen North, that wraps up movie review for this week and I will see you next time.